I would do it for sure, but I've never done it. I think it would be quite freeing. I jumped off a yacht the other day and burst my eardrum. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't do that. Now I have to have an operation. <laughs> I can't um, fly for a month after having the operation, so I can't have it until next year. So I just have to swim now. I just always get people coming up to me at parties thinking I'm like Ruby Quinn. Or, um, someone thought I was Boris Johnson once. You don't know who Boris Johnson is, but he's uh, the, the mayor of London. He's about 60. Do you know what? I, I get I get mistaken for people a lot, but I know there's, there's a lot of people get, who get mistaken for me. Yeah. I keep getting fans like tagging me. You know on Instagram you can see your tag things, and they're yeah. like tagging me with like the fat ginger dude they met at the pub, and they're just like, met a cheer today, and this guy's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I know people get mistaken for me, but yeah. I actually know, I know, I, I know for a fact that there's a dude that gets laid because he says he's me, because we get emails about it all, all the time. I'll be in like, like Estonia or something, and the manager, I remember the last email I got, it was like, it was like, I think I had sex with Ed at a festival last night in, in my tent, but I'm not sure. If I did, tell him he's a wanker, and if I didn't, I'm sorry for the email. And we're like, well, we're in Estonia, so <laughs> someone's having a lot of fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I have a, I, I, I have a fan called Jen that um, every time I see her, she's made me like a gift, but she'll spend like a year making it. So the first time I met her, she'd like knit me a doll. Next time was like another little thing. Next time was a knitted hat or like a blanket. And the last time I saw her, she made me my own monopoly. Yeah, which was... had made um, like. Everything was personalised, even down to the figures, and it was uh, around the board. The things you buy were like the venues I came up playing, or like the first de the first album. Oh, actually no, the Chance and Community Chest were the first and second album. And you'd start off at like a, a, like a really small venue, and you'd finish at um, uh, uh, what we say. When we say would be like Park, yeah, Park, yeah, Park, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, in, in England, it's Mayfair and Park, Park yeah. but yeah, That's amazing. yeah, yeah but that, awesome. that was amazing. That was really beautiful, really cool. Probably. Yeah, I think that's probably yeah. true. <laughs> what? Staying in by yourself to have a Netflix and chill. What, what is do you know what Netflix and chill is? Like real Netflix, Netflix and chill? Netflix and chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do like a, a legitimate Netflix and chill. Okay. Except I don't have Netflix. The yeah. iTunes and chill. <laughs> yeah. All the time. I do it all the time. Yeah. It's so bad. At the stage I'm at, not everybody knows my song, so it's alright. I can kind of get away with it, but I can tell them anyway. Just pretend like you're really, really into it, and you just go... <laughs> <laughs> and take time, and then, and then, and then and come yeah. back into it. I'm going to learn that. You're just, just, yeah. the kind, just kind of like, you're so into the song, you're just like, hold on a minute. I'm just going to take a break from what I was singing to just realise how more. into this I am, and then go, right, yeah. But, but really, you're going, holy shit, what are the words, what are yeah. the words, what are the words. <laughs> I do it to find out where I'm going to be playing. Yeah, I don't always know. Yeah. So I do that. Um, I try not to read any comments or anything about myself. I answer messages on Facebook and Twitter and stuff, but yeah. just general comments. I'm the opposite. I read everything and read the comments. Really? I actually, I actually search it out so I can. <laughs> actually, I've got a shit list. So like, I search it out and read all the bad stuff, and then I've written down all the people. So that whenever the label come and go, hey, you've got this writer today, I'm like, nah. <laughs> Not that my time is precious, but like, I like, I like doing things with like my promotional time that that I'll enjoy. And if I'm speaking to someone that doesn't like me, there's 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 no point. But I don't, I don't do it a lot now because what I find people do is they go, let me drop call you right now, and you're like, yeah. oh no way, let yeah. me give you my email, because that's the that's the awkward thing. Um, right. I've given fake emails. I always give my managers. He's probably got so much spam. <laughs> I did this one thing actually to my manager's email when we were shooting the um, drunk music video. The drunk music video of me interacting with the cat, and um, I was just really bored one day in in, in Finland, and Stuart had like. I don't think it even annoyed me, I was just kind of looked at Stuart and was like, oh, I'm going to ruin your day. And I like, tweeted to like two million people and I was like, right, um, we need to cast a girl in this music video with, with, with me and a cat. If you're interested, please send a picture of you and the cat to <laughs> Stuart, Stuart's email address. And it, it crashed his phone. Show you a picture of Boris Johnson. 
Ja, 